How's it going guys? I'm going to do a summary of chapter 2, reading price charts bar by bar, the technical analysis of price action for the serious trader. Chapter 2, trend lines and trend channels. Table of contents, trend lines, micro trend lines, small, steep trend lines and strong trend, horizontal lines, swing points and other key price levels, trend channel lines, and finally, dual lines, intersecting trend lines, and trend channel lines. Trend lines. The most profitable trades will always be with the with trend entries. Once a trend line can be drawn, wait for a pullback into the trend line. If the market gives a good with trend signal, take the trade. We can gauge how strong a trend is by how steep or flat the trend line is. When the trend line breaks, we can use this to gauge the strength of the other side, counter trend traders. Sometimes it's better to use the bodies of the candles to draw trend lines. Here's an example of multiple trend lines. We have broad bull trend lines here and here, and then within that we have micro trend lines that ultimately break with steep bear trend lines. Here's a micro trend line for the bears contained within a broader trend line for the bears. This is just bullish trend lines, very strong bull trend, and within that we also had strong bull channels, trend lines being drawn here, here, and here. Trend lines for the bears, we can see it starts at the swing high and we pull down containing one, one trend line will contain all the price action and within this trend line there are multiple trend lines that also contain bearish price action. Micro trend lines. Small, steep trend lines and strong trends. A micro trend line can be drawn on any time frame. It's a smaller trend line drawn between 2 and 10 bars within a bigger trend. When a micro trend line has a false breakout, this can set up for a good bull or bear flag at least for a couple points. When the trend line is steep, only take with trend entries. New traders should avoid counter trend entries. As the trend goes on, the trend line will become flatter. Eventually, the markets will have trend lines in the opposite direction. There's no need to go down on a smaller time frame when looking at micro trend lines. They can be seen and traded on the 5 minute chart. Smaller time frames generate more false signals. Micro trend lines bullish. Here we can see a strong bull trend with multiple trend line breaks shown on these wicks here. Something I want to say is these arrows that I drew were on the 5 minute chart and I swapped over to the 1 minute time frame. I didn't re redraw these arrows. So what that means is these, these wicks breaking down do lead to good bull flags. We have the trend line break, here's the arrow leading to a good bull flag, a pull, pull back strong pull, pull back, higher low, bull flag, strong pull, pull back, leads to another breakout and a bull flag. Same thing with the last one. What we're looking at here are these small wicks on the five minute. Micro trend lines, bearish. Same thing goes for the bears. We have a good trend line. We have a couple breaks here and here, a deeper pullback here, and smaller breaks here. These all led to profitable bear flags on the one minute time frame. But again, we don't have to watch the one minute time frame to understand that these wicks are creating bear flags on smaller time frames. They all lead to bear flags that have double tops, that have bearish breakouts, and led to profitable trades. These are steep trend lines, and we should only take trades in that direction. Here's an overall trend line, and then smaller trend lines within the bigger trend line. You could try and short, but you'd have to make a very quick scalp and it's not worth it because you can make a lot more money in the with trend direction. Here, maybe this is a two, three point bull bar, but you can make five or six points just getting short after a trend line break, which creates the double top bear flag. Strong trend lines going flat, bullish to bearish. Bear trend lines becoming stronger, bull trend line is becoming flat and broad. So see how the longer the bull trend goes, the flatter it gets, and at one point, bears actually do start making money. This was this ended up being a very deep pullback to a broader bull trend line. 
Same thing goes for the bears. We can see how it starts off very steep, but as the bulls start to step up, it gets flatter and flatter and the bull trend lines become stronger. The last bear trend line is almost the high of a range. Horizontal lines, swing points and other key price levels. The market ranges more than it trends. Horizontal lines can set up for good trades. Traders should wait for a test of the recent swing high or low, then take the trade in that direction. For a bullish setup, traders want to see a double bottom. This shows the bears have failed twice to make a new low. For a bear setup, traders want to see a double top. This shows the bulls failed twice to make a new high. Horizontal line swing points. Here's a swing high, and then I extend the line out, and this gives the range high, and the bulls get the range lows. All these trades were a retest. This was a retest of this. This is a higher high retest of this area. Here we're retesting this swing low. Here we're retesting this swing low and this swing high. And all three of these trades are bear flag double tops. This shows that the bulls tried once, tried twice, and they hit out of their position, creating selling pressure for the bears. Bears see that bulls got trapped here and they get short for a few legs down. And the opposite is true for the bulls. Bulls see the bears go short here, and they want to get out here, and that creates buying pressure. As bears buy back their shorts, the bulls buy lows, and they get two legs higher. Same thing goes here. They see that the market had a failed breakout, the bulls buy the low, and they go for a few legs higher. This is a double bottom of this swing high. Come up, pull back, swing high, double bottom led to a test of the recent high, and that's when the bears will take over. Bulls will get out at recent highs and bears will short recent highs for two legs down. We can see this on all time frames throughout the market. Here's another example of a strong pull, a double test, excuse me, a double bottom test of the swing low here. Bulls buy the lows and they go for two legs up into the previous swing high over here. Bears get short and they go for two legs down. So you can see how the bulls and bears need each other to make money. This is more of the price action we will see on a daily basis instead of trending environments. Trend channel lines. When drawing trend lines for the bulls, the trend line is drawn below the bars. The line drawn opposite of this is called the trend channel line. It goes above the bars. When drawing trend lines for the bears, the trend line is drawn above the bars. The line drawn opposite of this is called the trend channel line and it goes below the bear bars. Traders should not take counter trend trades until there's a strong break and retest of the channel line. Bull channels will break into a bear channel after a double top is formed. Bear channels will break into a bull channel after a double bottom is formed. Both these setups indicate a wedge top or bottom. How to draw bull channel lines. We start at the bottom left and extend it to the top right. This is the trend line for the bulls and the opposite is containing the price, and that's the trend channel line. Bullish channel line break. Here we can see the same channel we just talked about, and then they had a very strong break, and they come to retest the highs. Here's that wedge top, and it led to two legs down for the bears. How to draw bear channel lines. You start here, and you pull it down, containing the price action. This is also acting as resistance. The line opposite of this is called the trend channel line, and we draw that after we draw the first line here, containing the bear price action. Bearish channel line break, channel line break here. We can see the same exact channel we just had. Bulls make a strong two-legged push up, breaking the bearish channel line, and they come for a retest of the lows. This creates a double bottom formed at the recent lows. Here's the wedge bottom giving us one two and three pushes down which also led the two legs higher for the bulls this is more of a inside look at the charts we just looked at the horizontal price action containing everything dueling lines intersecting trend lines and trend channel line dueling lines have two trend lines usually a long-term trend line and a short-term opposite trend line the goal is to see how price action reacts at the intersection and then place a trade this is a bullish dueling trend channel line. They have a very strong bull channel.
connecting all the lows there's three points one two and three and we have another smaller bearish channel line into the bull channel line we can see the bulls get the strong channel line break retest and go bearish dueling trend lines here is a strong bear trend line connected by three points one two and three and a smaller bullish trend line within the bearish trend line there's more bearish momentum and we should avoid taking counter trend trades this gives the market a double top appearance here or with a micro double top here and bears get their two legs down respecting the overall trend line this is the end of chapter two Please leave any questions in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you for your time.